Hey everyone, have a here, but a video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, I'm going to be basically doing like a weekend update since I wasn't able to make any videos since I was out of town. Had a great time this weekend, by the way. It was fantastic. Um, but just coming back to recording some videos, I figured I'd cover some of the items that uh, had come out over the past weekend. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So I think the first thing I should be discussing is the upcoming Dima celebration. Um, so of course, this information dropped out, I think, in the you know, early mornings of, um, of Saturday. And I was already either asleep or getting ready for going out of town. But uh, of course, we ended up getting the previews for the new Dima characters on here. And uh, as you can see here, we are going to be getting a Goku and we're actually be getting a Vegeta here as well. Uh, a little bit, of course, disrespect as usual for Vegeta, uh, Goku being pinned uh, as the comment here, and then Vegeta just, you know, uh, hanging out down here. But um, as I predicted in my timeline video, if you guys want to check that out, feel free to check that out there. We were going to get at least this Goku right here and uh, makes a lot of sense. This was a part of the, um, the, the campaign and promotional materials. So. Um, not a surprise we, we ended up uh, getting this unit here as the free to play. However, these are the SRs. So we're getting SRs that awaken into an SSR uh, for both Goku and Vegeta, which is very interesting. I assume that this, of course, TUR into maybe like a Super Saiyan and then possibly LR if there's any future transformations in Daima. Uh, but we'll see uh, as the story progresses in that series. Um, now, I think uh, plenty of people have already covered this. The, the hugest benefit that we got from the information on this preview here is the name of these units, right? They have the parentheses. Uh, we always want to uh, be uh, grateful for parentheses because it does provide us the opportunity to link these characters with, uh, for example, base form Goku with Daima now can be linked up with base form Goku regular, right? So that's gonna be hugely beneficial. And of course, as this um, this goes in, awakens into an SSR, this turns into also mini Daima as well. So um, so huge, huge benefit there. I'm glad that they thought about that. It's been a big issue with some of these units that have been coming out in Dokkan. So both Goku and Vegeta have the mini Daima on there. What I'm actually the most excited about on the character that's going to have the mini Daima or the Daima name on it is going to be Piccolo, right? I think we've been always searching for other ways to have other Piccolos on a team to create like a Namekian team. Namekian is a category. It's a dead category. It's been a dead category for a, for a while, but having more Piccolos. Uh, I remember when LR, LROP came out, I was like, oh, thank goodness we can run a Piccolo with another Piccolo. Um, so I'm looking for like a super piccolo, but now we have a mini and a dima piccolo where we assume that we can have one of those uh, in the future. So that's exciting uh, to say the least. So anyway, that's pretty much dima there. Again, uh, this is the campaign saying mid-October. I, I, I think we're going to get that at least these characters probably in the next couple of days. The, um, the series premieres on the 11th. That's in Japan. So it's the 10th for us here. It can, we can possibly get these units on the 9th which is only a couple of days from I'm recording this video here. So it makes a lot of sense for them to go ahead and do that. Um, so campaign again, scheduled in mid October. And I guess the 10th, 11th is close enough to mid October. Uh, so that should be uh, going on concurrently with the current um, Vegeta campaign, the dirty fireworks campaign as well. Now, uh, another portion of this, they did talk about the um, implementation of the new uh, Peton battle, which is crazy. It's the it's the series pack 18, but it's say the 35th Peton battle. So, um, of course, we have multiple Peton battles as series packs come out, but uh, pretty wild. It's been that many Peton battles. So, uh, Peton battles is, uh, I would say, some people like it, some people don't. Uh, I don't really mind it. Uh, I don't play it enough, and uh, and that's fine. I don't expect people to really dive into it, but there are going to be some additional new rewards that's going to be available for Peton Battle here, and um, uh, the the setup is a little bit different, I, I guess. Oops, I just realized I probably should change this over here. There we go. Um, the the Peton Paddle here, there's, there's some changes in terms of, again, the Series Pack 18 here, but you're able to pick up in the game if you look into peton battle right now you're able to go ahead and choose an opportunity to pick up series pack one and two and the fight 
uh, layout is different uh, because there's no normal. There, there's actually six characters you can fight uh, from hard to Z hard into super, but no no normal, which is which is different. So um, so now these new sticker cards you're able to go ahead and pick up, and these new Baba sticker cards that you can pick up. Uh, you know uh, other rewards like dragon souls like orbs things of that nature i'll go ahead and jump into that right now so these are the new baba sticker cards and these baba sticker cards again running basically forever um so you can just go ahead and keep these you don't have to spend it on these type of rewards if you don't want to but you can get dragon stones of course this is going to be something everyone's going to grab the the five dragon stones here i, I would have liked to see this a little bit higher a little bit more for, for people that are going to grind this uh, e even much more so and the price is 20 so you should be able to get uh, this fairly easily um you know, and these keys here are going to be available for you as well, which is nice. These keys are, you know, a lot of them could be valuable here. We have some Sleepy Kai's and Elder Kai's. Now, this is where it's going to get a little bit more pricey, 120 180 uh, And even more so, the most expensive uh, item that you can pick up here is going to be the Link Leveling Rainbow Orb to get to Link Level 9, 10, etc., etc. Uh, those are very, very valuable in terms of uh, doing that if you're not link level or like me these are very helpful but it's going to cost 200 so you need 400 to only get two i don't know if that's you know very worth it comparable to at least the dragon stones here so just kind of keep that in mind we have you know different rewards and, and different ways of going ahead and capturing um uh, these additional treasures right so uh, so here are, uh, they really don't talk about anything else, but, um, you know, you can choose different sticker car packs that you can choose from and, uh, choose and choose wisely, I guess it's, uh, I'll see if this is going to be a much more improvement on here. I haven't played it yet. So, uh, I'll give you my thoughts down the road. So that's Peton battle, the 35th one, um, series pack 18. Uh, we do have a player survey to complete so go ahead and complete this here to get your seven dragon stones uh, that's always nice little reward there just to give them some input and, and, and do your best to give them the best input as possible don't you know you don't have to you know provide false um, thoughts the feedback I think is very important I think they've done some really positive changes in Dokkan in, in the past couple years and they continue to try to make this game uh, a lot more you know at least friendly to the players um, even free-to-play players here with the with the pity system things of that nature so so yeah I um, yeah I, I think uh, they, they, they do a, they do an overall good job in these player surveys so go ahead and complete that um, yeah, don't forget here the tons of thanks um, Memorial Dragonstone tickets uh, banners go away. Um, they also uh, I, I made a huge mistake last year um, where I uh, I have like 300 old number four Memorial Dragonstones left over from last year. I just totally forgot about them and never used them. So just don't don't let them go go to waste if you still have some um, you know floating around. So. I do want to quickly go over this, which I, I didn't go over uh, when this initially came out for the uh, Autumn Harvest campaign. Uh, just know, of course, we are going to get that Daima in, uh, I would say, in the next couple days here. We're getting the easy A to, uh, super easy A to full power Frieza. Uh, that's going to be uh, available and, and opened up um, today, on today is the 7th, so this is dropping today on here. But also know that we are also going to get a part two to this autumn campaign, and that's going to be on the 14th. Now, we don't know exactly where we're going to be getting because there could be a possibility, right? Uh, I don't expect us to get any Dima, summonable diamond characters until the end of November. Uh, if you looked at my previous timeline video, I was discussing about that. I don't expect us to summon for anything. However, however... Uh, we were expecting you know, a dual Dokkan Fest or something like that. They could just end up squeezing in a on the 14th here on Part 2 LR as a Daima character. Maybe like a Daima Piccolo uh, or maybe a sub character that they've shown on the previews. But um, they could absolutely do that as in a you know the, the beginning steps of the of the campaign. I I assume that this is gonna be a different campaign from this here. So um so I don't ex I don't expect it, but I wouldn't be surprised if they just slotted this uh, part two LR as yellow coin LR as a Dima character. So just you know, just give that a thought. 
Um, if they stick with like Plan Anamic Saga and Human Deeds, whatever this campaign technically is, um, because we actually kind of don't know. We know it's in, in Gears of the Namic Saga, but remember when God Topo came out, everyone was like, oh, this is like, you know, Universe 11, this is Tournament of Power, but it wasn't. It was a special pose celebration. Um, but I think this is more in gear in lines with the Planet Namic Saga, so uh, because it's right here, right? Uh, Planet Namic Saga. Uh, however, however, they could just do something crazy here and just drop something unusual. But if they do drop a Planet Namic Saga one um, part two LR here, there's a lot of to choose from. Maybe I'll do a video on that. But anyway, I just want, again, I just wanted to cover a lot of these items that I did not cover during the weekend, since again I was not in town. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about you know everything that you've been seeing in the in the past uh, couple days. Uh, so with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Keep on doconing. We'll catch you next time. Later.